Hello, prequel tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Spectre Knight with me, Blue Inkulo. Last episode, we just sort of explored the castle and got the basic tutorial done, and now we're heading out to collect knights. So, it doesn't have a world map, maybe, like the other ones. So it's a little bit different, maybe. Um... You can get, I mean, the Lich Yard's where we came from, so that's, oh, but this is like, look at the picture, it's one of those uh, random traveling guys, like the, the samurai dude, I think. Well, um, usually we start with King Knights because it's kind of easier for platforming, so let's start there, although the gold reward is pretty small, but I feel like I'd rather practice my platforming, so we'll start with this guy. Or maybe this is before his castle's been built and this is a terrible idea? We'll find out. So yeah, the thing was in his, this is the new music too again for his dungeon. Really well done, man. This is a epic uh, DLC for sure. That's, that's fine, we've recovered. There we go. Yeah, so, I, we should know these maps pretty well, because I've played through them at least twice by now. But, um, very fun. Oh, not like that. <laughs> not like that. But yeah, it's gonna be different with Spectre Knight, and I guess, because we're in the past, the level design could be a little bit changed and it will make sense. Probably could have bounced off of him. Yeah, I'll have to find, with some enemies specifically, I'll have to find like a, a new way of Defeating them. It's fine. I mean, I'm kind of used to just throwing bombs from long range, so. Okay, lots of lava falling. Can't climb up the uh, banisters or whatever you want to call them. I feel like Spectre Knight might be one of the best, like, of the three, he's, like, naturally the kind of quickest in combat. Like, we'll see, though. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't just do, like, a jump slash, because as soon as there's an enemy and you're in the air, you go flying. So, <laughs> don't rely on that kind of attack. We yeah, I'm sure we can bounce off these, right? Alright, so don't press, like, just for myself and anyone playing along. When you're climbing up a wall, if you take your hand off the D-pad uh, and just press the jump button, you will definitely jump the way you want to jump. I meant to jump. Okay, you know, look. That's fine, I don't need to get every single gem. Pretty much always end up with more money than I need, right? Oop! <laughs> Alright, all the way back to the bottom. That's fine. Alright, don't miss my jump this time. Now, if I figured I wouldn't die, I could break that to get some money, but let's not, let's not gamble. I do have some, uh, magic, right? 
right? So it's half a bar to use uh, the side boomerang. Not bad. Problem is that you can't um, recharge it as easily as with uh, Plague Knight. Okay. Alright, I think I know what to do. And then we'll hit it again. There we go. There'll probably be a, yeah, platform up there. So we'll have to be a little bit quicker. Looks good. Hmm, I don't want to get knocked into the spike. I'll hit the, uh, Oh, you can reverse the direction of the spinning uh, ball and chain, if you hit it, I think. Alright, looks good! Little, little save there at the end. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, oh, that's... That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I probably missed, like, a, a red skull back there if I can't get back up. That's one of those jumping traps, yeah. Like I was saying earlier, like, last episode. Alright, well, unfortunately I have to do the level again now because I missed a screen. Oh, yeah, those. Sorry. <laughs> totally forgot. With Plague Knight, you can just jump on top of them with all this bursting. Not quite so easy here. <laughs> I have finally died because I didn't just jump fast enough. It's cool, I wanted to go back and... Oh, I shouldn't have hit this, uh, this light. I could have gone back further. I was thinking, I was wondering if you could, like, climb up them as they were falling, but the answer to that is no. Alright, don't mess up the jump. Poor guy. Not like I should be doing this for like 10 gold, 20 gold, but. I think actually um, his damage output is higher when you're on the ground. Like if that, if that midair dash attack does one damage, um, then you can get more attacks in faster when you're just standing there like this. So you get one easy try, and then you have to do wall climb jump. There we go. Now I want to break those anyway, but... Just in case. Oh, he's got new moves! Look at this! Plague Knights, or Spectre Knights, so cool. It's fine. I feel like I'm gonna get the hang of this guy a lot faster than Plague Knight. <laughs> And I do like the detail that what heals him is, uh, like, undead turkeys or, like, turkey carcasses rather than actual healthy-looking turkeys. Um, yeah, you can just knock those backwards. Oops, yeah, don't do that. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, uh, getting the timing down and all that. But like I said, I think you can deal more damage quicker when you're just walking like that, so it's it's probably better for killing enemies quickly. Oh yeah, of course they'd want to throw in some actual rooms like this that punish you for, uh, jumping. Oops. Only meant to do one. 
So I'm think I'm just gonna try to jump over them because I got one jump on each yellow block, so and two on the gray ones. Oh, that's fine. Ah, I should have known. I <laughs> I got greedy. I should just left. All right, all right. It's my bad. After all the uh, success with that section of the game. Nah, what am I doing? Should just not even hit it. Alright. This time for sure. <sighs> Let's just take the hit and get out of there, basically. That time the carrot did heal me, though. Oh, I see here. Uh, you could jump there. Okay, so... I could use that, but I think you're supposed to do it with just the, the torches, obviously. So let's get rid of it so I don't accidentally home in on that. Alright, no problem. Unless there was something else on the left side that I missed, but... I think I have to climb on top of, um, that second one. wonder if you can, um... Yeah. It almost worked. <laughs> there might be a way to get that to work, but I'll do it the normal way. Or I'll try. There we go. Oh, no, no, that, well, yeah. Well, that money's gone forever. So there's a little bit of timing for when you hit, when you start your run and when you get, uh... When, when the lava cult falls down, like, there's some, there's a couple tricks here I gotta time out. I could get some of the money, but it's not worth it. I'll just die again, you know. I <laughs> I had a half a second there where I could have bounced off the rat, but all right. Now this room did kill me a lot in um, at least shovel knights, but probably plague knights as well. Instant death pits always my weakness. Wait. Um. Don't wait too long. Okay, I got like one. Uh, that's fine. And then gotta go. I'm not a huge fan of giving you platforms that you can only jump off of once and then you're basically dead. It's like if you mess it up your first time or your. Well, for the gray blocks, two times, then you're just dead. I don't like that aspect very much, but. I'll just have to manage. It's all in that room, right? Okay. Ah, uh, well, I mean, for treasure, it makes sense to have one chance. It's just different when it's, uh, oh, come, come on, that's not nice. Um, I didn't figure out a safe spot, did I? It's right here. Two, two fireballs. And then maybe, like, two more. And then dodge the fireballs. We're just playing it safe here. Alright. And you know what? Let's just heal up. Alright, this shouldn't be anything to worry about, though. Alright, and I assume this is the boss. Ha 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 ha. 
You don't need to use a shovel, jeez. Why does everyone in this kingdom use shovels? Alright! King fight! Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's different. I don't see any reason not to have, uh... Healing up to full. Looks like you get magic back when you hit enemies, or at least bosses. Ooh, that was scary. Looks like I probably shouldn't just do that when I'm about to get hit, though. Alright. So are we going to make it a rule that whenever I kill a knight, we have to do it mid-air like that? <laughs> I want the giant Psy toss that he had when he was the enemy boss, and you could just throw your Psy around the entire screen and hit everything. And, like, the teleporting blinking in and out and everything. Well, I may have died a couple times on the platform, but overall I figured that was a pretty smooth dungeon. Let's go uh, maybe buy some new armor or something. At the very least, turn in our skulls. Oh, not quite enough to get both! Well, let's get the one um, that we could have gotten earlier. Of course it's cursed. Everything's cursed. Alright, so we gotta use this. It's just a really powerful claw attack. I'm guessing it does like two or three damage at least. Um, I wonder if there has like a down thrust of some sort. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Probably not. It does pull you forward a little bit, though. Probably won't be my spell of choice, but uh, it definitely does a lot of damage per hit. But I like the idea of being able to use my magic to heal up a little bit, kind of thing. That's kind of my, my main. So... I mean, that is your easy mode, right? For sure. Well, I'll, I might want to buy one of the more offensive ones. Like the Striker Shawl. shawl. We'll see. I want to see what the other uh, guys sell. I'm so meticulous. I mean, I'm not really worried about what order we do them in. I'll, I'll just try to get everything. Oh, look at this. He joins up. Is this the room that uh, Shovel Knight falls into and fights all the Knights of No Quarter? Interesting. Nice little extra bonus there. Ah, one coin. It's a little hidden ninja samurai dude. Liquid samurai. It's just because they look different, we're not allowed to climb up them. Yeah, that's totally it. Oh, he powers them up. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Four grand. Passes through obstacles, gets you your... That's a way to recover your gold when you die somewhere that you can't, like, get to? Whoa, this is pretty neat! I definitely need more gold. I'm just gonna upgrade the Will Skull, because we're definitely going to be using this one no matter what. Like, there's no way we don't use the Will Skull, right? I wonder if I can get more gold for, uh, little fox dude again. Nah, we already got all this gold, I guess.
Well, I was trying to see if I could juggle it a little bit better. Yeah, you could probably get it to bounce up. If you're pr pro. It's like a certain basketball some of you guys might be familiar with in a certain game. Anyway, um... Is that it for this dungeon? I mean, I could try the climbing one one more time. I need, like, a little bit more money. Um, because I'd like to get an armor upgrade. At the very least, I'd like to buy that one to have at least something. So let me, um... Let me go back. We'll try that minigame one more time. Seeing as we're already at 20 minutes in and I probably don't have enough time to do another full... Um... Oh, that's right. The way up there is hidden over here. I probably don't have enough time to do another full level, basically, is all I'm trying to say. Hey, those weren't there last time. Or... Oh, I see. Maybe that's what the trick was. Just get all of them in one go. I don't know. I'm assuming there's some trick to do on this screen, but I don't know what it is just yet. Alright, let's try the climbing minigame one more time. At least it doesn't make you pay for it. Alright, up, up, fast as you can. And I think it's pretty clear that there's at the very least, at least a couple different layouts, even if they're not randomly generated. I feel like I'm just not going fast enough. Gotta go fast. Just ignore them. Don't need to kill everything, basically. Ah, no. Well, that's not quite what I meant to do, but uh, oh shoot, should have gone immediately. Uh oh. Looks like you can you can kind of infinitely jump off the wall if you just sort of tap it fairly quickly. Well, I'm definitely making it further. But this probably means it's gonna get harder. Oh, that's... I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Oh, come on. It's fine, I got this. Focus. Channel your inner Ankylo. Uh-oh. I'm like not even halfway up though. Look at this. Oh, I'm lucky that that didn't kill me there, actually. Well, I mean, that's a new record. I I'm not going to keep trying this one, but we're getting better at least. Whew. I did make a little bit of money on that, but I, I guess it's just from killing enemies on the way up. All right, well, I guess we'll just have a slightly shorter episode today. Um, it's fine. We don't have to have 40-minute episodes every single, every, every single day. I guess we're not allowed to talk to this guy. Alright. Well, we'll worry about more armor and stuff next episode. Or... Or, I'll find something I should have found before. So now we can get the armor. Like I said, I think I'll want the more expensive armor that gives me more offensive upgrades, but... This will help stop me from dying, you know? Alright, well that'll be it for today's episode. Thanks for watching and all that. Next time we'll go do another night. Maybe even two if we go quick enough. And I still need like... Oh no, I have enough... Okay, hold on. Because we found an extra red skull there. One more thing to do today before we leave. Alright, so this is... I didn't even really read this one. What does this one do? Shadow Mirror. Cast a reflection, attack from a distance. Oh! 
Well, that is fun. That's pretty cool. It just stays there forever? Looks like you can't control how far away it goes. It just... He just goes in front of you. Oh, it uses magic to attack. I see. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's a neat little skill. I, again, I don't know how much I'll use it in practice, but it's definitely neat. And again, I'm sure if we had more gold, we could upgrade it and make it more powerful, but we don't really have the spare gold yet. So there, for real this time, we'll end the episode here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more Plague... Er, I'm keeping calling him Plague Knight. It's my bad. Spectre Knight. Kind of looks like Plague Knight with a green armor.